Imagine you purchased a car, changed the oil, and put in a full tank of gas. You should be at all systems go, but when you finally turn the key, it won't start. You can do all the right things and still have problems. If you've installed any connect on your RV340 series router and are having connectivity problems, don't spin out. I'm here to help you get the pedal to the metal and get you connected. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you some troubleshooting steps for any Connect VPN connectivity on RV340 series routers. Just like you would tune up a car to keep it up to date, you should make sure that your RV340 series router has the latest firmware running. You can verify this after signing into the router web user interface, navigate to status and statistics, and then system summary. This screen shows you the firmware version that is active on the router. To find out if it's the latest firmware version available for your device, go to cisco.com, click support, and enter your RV340 series router model number, and then downloads to check. If you need to update the firmware on your device, there are several articles and videos on the Cisco website as well. Perform the upgrade, save the updated configuration, and reboot. If your firmware is already the latest version, make sure any running configurations are saved and then perform a reboot of the router. A reboot can be a simple way to get things back on track. To reboot the router, navigate to administration and then reboot. At this point, you will select reboot the device option and then click reboot at the top of the screen. When the router has finished rebooting, try to connect to the VPN again. If you're still unable to connect, the next step is to make sure the RV340 series router has internet connectivity. Without connectivity, your communication gets sent out but hits a dead end. To check this, go to Administration and then Diagnostic. For this example, I'll enter a known Google server to ping on the internet by typing 8.8.8.8 .8 in the IP address domain name field and then click ping. As you can see, the ping was successful, which means the RV340 series router has internet access. If your ping fails, make sure your internet is properly connected to the WAN port. If it continues to fail, then it could be due to an improper internet connection. In a situation where your router is connected to a modem or another router, try to reboot that device. If an internet ping still fails, this can be an internet service provider issue and you may need to speak to them to get it sorted out. Moving along, the next troubleshooting step is to look at the router's logs, basically looking under the hood of your network. To generate logs, you need to make sure that logging is enabled. Click on System Configuration and then select Log in the navigation pane. Click the box to enable, select a debugging option for severity, and then click Apply. It's important that this debugging option is only selected during troubleshooting, as it consumes memory quickly. At this point, navigate to Status and Statistics and choose View Logs in the menu. Click the All checkbox to unselect them. Then enable only the SSL VPN option and click on Show Logs. Make sure to click the Clear Logs button so that you will only see the fresh new logs. Have the client attempt to connect to the VPN. If the client fails to connect, click on Show Logs. As you can see, logs are being generated, so this means that the VPN packets are getting to the router. If there are no logs, this means that no VPN packets are coming into the router. Now let's look at a scenario where logs are being generated when the client tries to connect. In this example, you can see some logs. Usually, these logs will have relevant information as to why the VPN connection is failing. In this log, you can see that the password is not correct. When you see this message, make sure to check your accounts and verify that you are using the correct passwords. To do this, go ahead and click on System Configuration and then User Accounts. On this screen, you can see the accounts that are available. For this example, I created the User1 account for AnyConnect VPN use. Now I'll click Edit to look at it. 
In your case, if you want to enter a new password, simply enter the old password and fill out the new password fields. If you've forgotten the password, then the best option is to create a new user with a new password. It's like getting a new key made for your car. To create a new user, go to local users and click the plus sign to add. Then enter your username and password. Make sure to add the correct group that is being used to authenticate to the SSL VPN. For this example, the group is AnyConnect, but keep in mind that your group may be different. Go ahead and click apply to save your changes. Another troubleshooting method is to make sure that the VPN authentication is configured correctly. To check this, scroll down to Service Auth Sequence. As you can see, the AnyConnect SSL VPN auth sequence is set to default. If you are authenticating VPN users using a RADIUS server, then this configuration is fine. If your VPN users are being authenticated locally from the RV340 series router, then you'll need to set the primary to local DB or local database. It's also important to choose a secondary auth, and you can set this to be any one of the options except none. Click Apply to save the configuration and then confirm the changes were saved. If the router didn't save the configuration, perform these last steps again and click Apply. To check this, when the user attempts to connect to the VPN again, click on Show Logs to confirm that the VPN tunnel has been established correctly. Now consider a scenario where you are not getting any VPN logs. What do you do then? First, look at the SSL VPN configuration on the router. Just like construction can shut down roads, closed ports can stop connections. To check this, navigate to VPN and then open SSL VPN and check the gateway port. This port needs to be open to connect to the VPN. Most of the time, if the router is directly connected to the internet service provider, the router will automatically open this port and you won't need to change anything. But sometimes the router connects to the internet through an ISP modem or a different router. If this is the case, you'll need to make sure the router or modem in front of the RV340 series router is port forwarding the gateway port to the RV340 router. I feel confident that these troubleshooting steps will get you out of the starting gate and into the fast lane. However, if your VPN is still not connecting, contact a Cisco representative for more advanced troubleshooting. Please see the link attached to the description for more information. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.